you're literally one YouTuber who will search away from learning how to get more clients, how to actually upsell people into different offers, how to stack MRR, how to change from an agency type of offer to a coaching offer, how to start closing on the DMs, etc. But I believe that there's a huge gap in the market when it comes to actually learning how to fulfill to your coaching clients, how to track coaching call recordings and well, essentially everything that has to do with delivering a good coaching experience, okay? Everything from how to set up your course material all the way to how to actually conduct either a one-to-one coaching call or a group coaching call with your clients, etc. And if you guys allow me, I hope that my engagement doesn't lower too much, <laughs> but I want to start talking a little bit on the things that I've learned to deliver amazing results for my clients who are in my coaching slash consulting offers, as well as the best things or the, or the insights that I gathered from actually building a coaching company myself okay truth be told my company is not strictly just a coaching company but we do have some masterminds well as some one-on-ones we actually do licensing and we do campaign co-management meaning that we do a step beyond coaching but we don't go as far as to be a quote-unquote marketing agency so what i want to do guys for this video is again just specifically walk you guys through the process that we use to track our coaching call recordings how we actually go about sharing all of that so that people have access to all the information in case that they cannot assist etc okay just a quick announcement guys like you can get access to everything that you're going to learn in this video and the actual template um joining my free Facebook group with the link in the description. And also, I want you guys to watch this video to access it because yeah, this is going to be a short and sweet one, but still, I just want you guys to consume the information, but most importantly, apply and implement this in your company. So make sure to watch this at 2XSP. But without further ado, let's hop to the computer. But as always, thank you for watching. I use Airtable, okay? And I will not do a super huge video on why I use Airtable, but something that I like about Airtable is that it's just fast, it is quick, but most importantly it is a database so it actually allows you to store data and do stuff with information if that makes sense okay essentially what i have is a client space so everything related to clients is going to go to this space and i have different tabs in here but i'm not going to show you everything of course but i have like a finances tab i have a call recording tab i have a campaign call management tab etc and essentially something that we've started to do in order to make sure that we can keep transparency in our coaching calls and to make sure that everybody has access to everything is well first of all we have let me just move this a little bit we have a mastermind calls filtering here where of course we actually have a, a status called mastermind and this is where i share essentially the group coaching calls and i also have a one-on-one -on -one calls view that allows me to see only the recordings or only things related to my one-on-one -on -one calls make sense i organize everything by the date of the of the coaching call in question for example right now we do two masterminds per week so it will be the 10th the 12th then the 18th and the 20th then the 24th and the 26th etc and then i have the recording link in here then some notes and client wins from that call the reason why this is so powerful and so insightful by the way is because not only can you keep people accountable and you can see like what's happening but then you can just do a quick summary when you share this in the community so that more people know what happened like at a glance and also because if you start to share wins you can use that as marketing okay so that's a huge one so make sure to actually take notes and client wins inside of the calls for example getting onboarded everything has to do with booking calls um clients hitting first 20k months whatever it might be okay so that's super important then i also have a checklist for well my community is hosted in my facebook group and then i also like to share the post that i made inside of the facebook group so that i can keep track of everything if i wanted to repurpose some of this stuff for later so essentially this is how i track the coaching calls that i have with clients so we distinguish between group coaching calls or masterminds to one-on-one -on -one calls and the way this looks like is the following so i have my private community um we're about to reach the 50 members so that's something that makes me happy of course but yeah, basically what I like to do is let me share, let me let me see if I can find a coaching call recording, just a second. Um not sure where it is, just a second. Okay, for example, this one, it was four days ago. So what I like to do is whenever I have the recording, I like to share the public link so that everybody who came to the call, well, they have access to everything in there. And the people who didn't come to the call, well, they can get access to everything also the people that attend the call and who share wins or whatever it might be i tag them in the actual in the post itself so that they can see like whatever we talked about the accountability etc and yeah i like to also share like a screenshot of that specific call so that there's a little bit more visual appeal to it if that makes sense okay so that's one of the things that this this is essentially how we go about the process now another thing that i really recommend you guys that once who run any sort of coaching business is a lot of times, of course, you might have DM support on Slack or Messenger, whatever it might be, for people who don't come to your calls, right? But if there's a tip that I can give you guys, is the following. You should always have some sort of support ticket that allows your clients, even if they can access your support on the DMs or on Slack or on Discord or whatever it might be, it's always a good idea to make it possible for people to submit long-form questions with examples and everything 
inside of this uh, form. And the reason why that's important is because sometimes you might want to go deeper into the explanation on how to answer a question. And then you can use this for your clients to feel that way you can give them enough feedback for them to take action and for them to get your questions answered, right? Because there are some things that are going to be too messy if you simply start focusing on, hey, the, I'm sending you DMs on Slack, for example, right? That's just the way that I, li I like to track the coaching call recordings and the way I like to track um, making sure that my clients are well served, both in terms of being keep them accountable, knowing who's coming to the calls and who's not, etc. Okay, so this is just something that I wanted you guys to see. But yeah, this is just a way that I like to structure my community. And guys, I will be just fully transparent. Like, if you have any question or something that you would like to say in regards to building your coaching company, delivering results to your coaching clients, I would like to start making a series on everything that has to do with coaching fulfillment, okay? Because I do have some videos on delivery from marketing agencies, but I'm thinking that this is something that nobody really talks about, but it's where the magic is made, okay? Especially if you have a coaching offer, you need to be able to understand how you can communicate the information and the value or the specific insight that you're selling, the actual way in which you communicate the knowledge that you have into the transformation that you sold to your clients, okay? So let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Um, I would also really appreciate it. You give me some ideas on things that you might be struggling with so that I can create content around it. Because even if we are not perfect and we are still figuring out a lot of stuff, I really pride myself in really knowing that I do everything that I can for my clients. Make sense? And if more people out there are struggling with something specifically, I would like to make a video on that so that I can also start to figure out other ways in which I can um, essentially innovate and create a better product for you guys. So that will be pretty much it for this video, guys. As always, I would like to just recommend one song. This time I would, I would recommend this song called Surprise of Summer by this band called um, Anri, like she's a singer. And this is not a Latin song, right? But the reality is that I've had this song on repeat from one week ago, okay? You know that I'm a big anime fan and there's one of these JoJo's Bizarre Adventures openings that is a fan made and they use this song and it's just perfect. Like it literally fits perfect. So if any of you watches anime, go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this one. But that out of the way, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to work with us, there's a link in the description. Let me know again some of the things that you might want me to talk about related to client fulfillment, client delivery, the actual process to conduct an effective coaching call. And be happy to address all of that for you guys okay so without further ado see you guys in the next one and hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day bye